We'll go back to the ancient gods. So the Seraphim is Samuel Hayden. Whoopity be. What does that mean? Samaphim. If you remember, his real name is Samur Maker, so there was a hint. Dr. Hayden is the Seraphim. They look the same. Thank God you're here. There's no need to see this because he's not well. Something is happening and nobody here knows what's wrong with him. Well, this fucking nerd is having a time. I love gamer gear, Doom Guy. Oh yeah, this is the skin I unlocked last level. We can't go to hell, it's icky. It is, it is icky. I have the Blood Swamp's location online. Wow, oh, you got that fast. This dude's on it. Yeah, he knows what he's fucking doing. Mmm. Mmm. That sounds sketchy. So the transfiguration is something that happens specifically to makers. I don't know the details, and as I said, I don't give a hoot anymore. So that's what's mm -hmm. happening to him. It's not good. It probably hurts. And now we're going to go to the Blood Swamps, which is where uh, the souls that are not worthy of being turned into Argent Energy are discarded. It was mentioned in the uh, main campaign, and now we get to actually go to it. Finally, my home. I love your sweet fucking Hot Wheels gum. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it and it was good. Also, man, that bit about serving gods. Mm. Yeah, we'll see about that. A little bit sketch. Hmm. At that objective. I uh, see your mission objective states that you're going to destroy the sphere. Uh, <laughs> 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 sure what Where do you see that? The, uh, has requested us. Uh, <laughs> Let you in here. Interesting that my mission objectives connect directly to my brain. Yeah. I also appreciate the fact that Doom Guy basically enters his own objectives and this is confirmed. <laughs> yeah. It's just a checklist, you know, so he doesn't forget. Like, you could come here and be like, wait, what was I doing? Shit, intern, what was I doing? Gotta get some eggs and milk and destroy the father's life sphere. That's the first thing that's really reminded me of Doom 2016. Like, especially at the start of the story. Just the intern going, uh, that's not what he told you to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Big old tentacle. That's a big boy. And it's pretty much dead. Yeah. They very seldom show up. They're very useless. It's just a giant tentacle. It, uh, looked a lot more threatening than it was. It did. Not a lot of blood in these blood swamps. I mean, except for the blood I'm spilling, but that's beside the point. They look surprisingly clean. Yeah. Is it like the, the root system and whatnot cleans the waters like the, the Everglades, or...? Yeah, I can see a regular-ass gator hanging around here. <laughs> oh no, the real threat. Okay, but actually Doom Guy finding a gator would be fucking awesome. <laughs> and fighting it. Well, he can't fight a shark, so I don't know how well he'd do against the gator. <laughs> he respects animals. <laughs> In this level, we are going to start running into more new mechanics that's introduced into DLC. We're going to see a few new enemies, as well as... Uh... Actually, it's mostly going to be the new enemies. Plus, this level structure is... Very interesting. Pretty close here. We're going to get to a point where the level splits off, and you could do either path in whatever order you want. So that's a little bit different. That's neat. Yeah. I just love it just casually throwing out Marauders now. 
Yeah, they're, they're not fucking around. Okay, that's pretty slick. This is for the masters. <laughs> oh, I hate that I just said that, because like, I don't like calling myself a master at anything, except being Jacob. <laughs> Only you can be Jacob. That's a good thing to master, honestly. Even then, I'm, I'm still in training. I give it a decade, you'll be fine. So weirdly enough, theres I don't believe there's a Slayer Gate in this level. Instead, the support rune is just kind of up there. Uh, there is a gate we were uh, looking at. Progressing in the level a little bit more will open up the gate so they can go get it. Ooh. Ooh, chunky. To be fair, like, the game is reaching the difficulty of the Slayer Gates, even if this one seems to have started a bit soft for this part of the DLC. It is. I will say this level pretty much gets to Slayer Gate levels at numerous points. So the Slayer Gate would be kind of redundant. And yeah, it's very, like, collectible light in general, the DLC's been. Yeah, just codex entries, the support runes, and optional challenges. I got a rad suit. Chicken rad, dude. Look at how clean this water is. Yeah. Not even a little bit of clouds. Hell, you know, I think that hell being dirty is just like a, a negative stereotype. Where's my blood, damn it? We were there. Yeah, it was it was just kind of like rubbly. Like I guess it is technically dirty, but if I look at it, I'm not gonna be like, this place is filthy. Just a little sippy. Give me the hell water. They're just other words I describe hell as, I guess, first, before dirty would come to mind. I mean you usually think like fire and brimstone. Yeah. Hot. Rimmy. And there's also the frozen part of hell, the, the ninth circle. By the way, those eggs will expunge ghastly fungal gas. That'll poison you. Well, it wouldn't poison you, it'll just, it'll just hurt you as you're near it. The stank egg. Hello. Don't know what I was doing there. I was just like waiting. I think I had to itch my nose or something. All right, now I think that door with the uh, support room might be open, or I just needed that one up. I've only got three. I'm worried. Oh no! What will you do if you die? I don't know. Cry on camera. Okay, but we wouldn't hear it. Now, if it was on mic... <laughs> Cry on camera, but with no audio. Also, I was wrong. That gate does not open up. It opens up once you get it so you can leave, but the actual way to the support room is around here. I'm not going to use it, but I'm going to go get it. It's like when I play an RPG and just stockpile rare items... It's not because I'm going to use them, but I want to own them. I do it because I'm never sure if the game has a crafting system that just hasn't been introduced yet. <laughs> I just, I like owning rare and valuable items. It's like a crow in a past life, give me the shinies. to the father's tomb which that giant to horn should be on the crest of a mountain just beyond this altar so i uh, go grab the it origin of the father's realm hmm. well yes it's uh time to uh kill god almost but well, first we have to go through two different trials which as i said earlier you can do in either order you want you can go down this way and there's another path down that way they're both pretty evenly difficult, so you could do whichever one. You could, like, I guess, punch whichever testicle you prefer at first. Hell yeah. 
Go for the left. It's a little unfortunate because Vega's our buddy. So you'd think like being on God's side would kind of work out in your favor in some way, but also Seraphim's clearly up to something and so it's probably not gonna end well anyway. Yeah, exactly. It's a sad story, but doing this is going to help with making sure the demonic invasion ends once and for all and doesn't happen again. Doom guy is a man who stands by his per personal ethics, which are fuck demons and fuck God. Fuck demons get money? Oh. No, no, he, he doesn't really seem like a material person aside from his guns. No, and his rad guitars. Okay, it is a fucking awesome guitar, though. And his Funko Pops. Well, he already has all of them that remain, so... He's complete. He just looks at them fondly from his chair. <gasps> this is something interesting. The Hound here Look. will create an aura, and uh, you have to stay in that aura, otherwise the air in this area will do damage. And then occasionally he'll hop into a torch, and this is essentially a mini arena. Just survive until all the enemies die off and the hound runs off somewhere else. Ah! <laughs> Hug me! Hugging is also part of the challenge. So far, it's softballing the hell out of it, so. Oh! Yeah, yeah, just a bunch of zombies and a cyber mancubus. <laughs> Not bad so far. You can leave the circle. You'll just take damage as as you do. And there are actually some power-ups, or, um, or at least some, like, health and ammo. So you got that little risk. That fucker. Yeah, they haven't gotten rid of the turrets yet. But yeah, look, I'm, I'm with Doom Guy. I'm big on Deicide. Attacking the Throne God and all that. Always happy to use my three chainsaws. Fuck you. <laughs> God, I love using the shield too. Like, it's way more powerful than you would think. Just ramming into dudes. Doom guy running around making loud clattering noises as his three chainsaws smack together. Tied to his ass. I think the game's bugging a little bit because the hound's not doing his ow animation. Mm. Yeah, see, there's a chainsaw fuel just outside the aura. Um, buddy, get. Yeah, thank you. I think there's some jank going on here. A little bit. They're just hopping around. They're standing in the... Wait. Hmm. I mean, they were, I, one stood on the on the torch. Yeah, one of them got stuck in the air briefly at another point. It was like just off to the side of the camera. You dick. Get out of my way. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> No, that's my dad! My dad! <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh. Dogs would be scarier if uh, they howled with clenched teeth. <laughs> you say scarier, I would be impressed. And scared. I remember having a lot of trouble with this area on my first play. But I guess I'm just, again, I've gotten so much practice that it's not quite as hard as it used to be. Oh, but there's still a Baron. He's just vibing. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, he failed the vibe check. Oh, no. Not really a fan of how they spawn a ways away from you when they're done with the torch. Yeah. It's kind of dumb. Oh god, now this is actually a pain in the ass. You got a turret outside of the aura and a marauder to deal with at the same time. 
I'm just not thinking at this point. I'm panicking. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't have my weapons right. Okay, that thing's dead, I think, now. These areas are very small, so you have no room to actually maneuver. My fucking smooth brain keeps reading your rad suit as your armor, and I'm like, why is it not going down? Yeah, it's... it's. I think I've done the same thing. <laughs> Alright, so now that that evil gaze is gone, let's do a little bit of backtracking. Because there is some stuff on the path here that uh, we haven't gotten yet, including a codex entry and an optional battle. I liked you running through the green mushrooms or flowers or whatever, thinking they were armor pickups, because I thought they were armor pickups. Oh, did I? Yeah, you just ran along each one. <laughs> I mean, no, I didn't. I, I knew they were mushrooms. I just <laughs> want to step on them. Oh, uh, that's weird. There we go. So let's go get that page. Cool. I bet you it's full of wank. Oh, absolutely. But we're never going to find out. <laughs> Where's the damn map? Okay, so in order to get to the optional challenge there, you need to come up here. Why won't it let me up here? What? That's the way to go. I made sure of it. But Doomguy won't grab the ledge, and if I jump even higher, it's just an invisible wall. Let me in! <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to go up the stairs? No. I can't jump over that wall to my left, either. Do you need to grab onto the little thing? Oh, it's just broke. It is broke. Just need to load the checkpoint, then it'll let me in. Man, these swamps have been pretty jank. Pretty bloody jank? No. No? Okay. No real blood aside from what you've spilled. And now, much better. <laughs> Why? Is there supposed to be an invisible wall there until you've reached that point and it just didn't unload or whatever? That's a good theory. Because, of course, like, they're not going to let you go there while the hound section is still happening. So maybe that's what happened. <laughs> it landed on a button. It's okay. <laughs> didn't just do that because I was stressed. I did appreciate the visible confusion when you knocked it over and didn't figure it out. Now that lets us in over here. And here's our gore nest, or first of them. This one's not so bad, if I remember correctly. It seems like nothing you haven't seen before. Oh, there's a baron. That's pretty tough. Oh, yes, I wanted to target that imp. Thank you. Who's left? There you are. Look at this fucker. Oh. Wet boy. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> All right, back on track. Head up, head through here. There's a door. We got to open it. Switches up here. So each path has one of these. It's a long platforming challenge. So once th there's a switch uh, directly to my left, if you punch it, fog will start to raise. I believe if you're caught by the fog, then you need to start from the beginning of this area. 
So it's just a little quick gauntlet, if you will. I never noticed how goofy the climbing animation is. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> Dodge it, yeah. What? <laughs> eh, you tried. Dodge the ledge. I did try, and the game said, fuck you. Let's try this again. It waves his hands. There we go. Oh wait, nope, this wasn't it. Yeah, I don't think you could... Maybe you just can't pull up on a ledge that's spinning around. Oh. Maybe. Like, yeah, it'd probably break shit. Oops, uh, look away. <laughs> Tutorial spoiled another thing. It's, uh, just up these spindy doodles. Oops. Can't believe that Doom is in the same universe as Mario. Bowser's clearly a demon from hell. Or at least that's where he got the inspiration. He went to hell that one time. Excuse me, sir. Okay, now that's taken care of. Let's get to business here. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so as the tutorial spoiled for us, notice this Hell Knight is glowing blue. He is possessed by the spirit. The spirit is a ghost that kind of looks like the summoner from Doom 2016. While a demon is possessed, their attacks are not stronger, but it moves faster, it attacks more aggressively, its weak points are near indestructible, not completely so, but they're much more difficult, if not impossible, to destroy. And they also get some very weirdly specific resistances to your weapons. Desino did a full video about the specific resistances. I'm going to just discuss the Hell Knight, uh, because after I kill it, you have to use the microwave beam to destroy it. The, you know, the weapon that you have not used. What you're saying is busting makes you feel good. Yes, this you are ghost busting now. And it's, <laughs> it's kind of great. I like the spirit. Makes things interesting. And if you don't destroy the spirit, it will possess another nearby enemy. Anyway, so the specific buffs and resistances for the Hell Knight when they are possessed, it moves 50% faster, it takes 80% less damage from your ballista, 75% less damage from your super shotgun, 67% less damage from your chain gun and the turret chain gun mod, and everything else does 50% less damage. That's... That's very... a lot of weirdly specific numbers, and pretty much every demon has resistances of that ilk. It, it sounds like a fuck you to high-end weapons, basically. Yes, and, like, whatever you would think to use against it, it's gonna have pretty steep resistances against. So we've reached pretty much the end of the first path. And this is where it's going to start getting very slayer gatey. This is a very long, hectic, and difficult battle here. Each route ends with one. The, the fact that you said first route made my brain reel for a second, because this has already felt pretty long. Oh yeah, we've almost reached the halfway point. God damn. Oof. You had to learn. You had to learn. I do wish, like, the big enemy glory kills were a bit more showy. Yeah, I mean, another one for the Baron of Hell is just to snap his neck. Which, I mean, cool, but it's, again, pretty pretty basic. Also, riding that Revenant was actually pretty fucking rad. Uh, when you chained onto it while it was flying up. I feel like the meat hook had a lot of missed opportunities. 
for fun stuff like that. Just kick him in the dick. <laughs> yeah, his demon dick. It's fine, he was dead, he couldn't feel it. Whoa! Yeah, he flew back to Doom 1 there. <laughs> I just slapped him and ran away. say I needed that health. I really didn't. Wait, is something possessed? No, nope, never mind. That's just the jets of the jumpy bits. Oh, nope. We got a possessed Arachnotron. Oof. Ouch. Now you can't destroy its little turret on its back anymore. Arachnotrons are particularly really aggressive. They feel a lot faster than a standard Arachnotron. Uh, to be fair, you usually hobble a, uh, normal Arachnotron super fast. Yeah. So I, I'm just, I'm seeing their effects a bit more with this special buffed up one now. Okay, there we go. Spirit out. Time to bust. Bustin', bustin', bustin'. I ain't afraid of no sleep. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no bed. Whoa! Oh, oh. That's an arch vial. I'm afraid of that. <laughs> One fear. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like slapping each other there. Now, you really do not want a spirit to possess a Doom Hunter because his sled is is technically a weak point. So if if he gets possessed, he becomes an absurd challenge. Yeah, I was gonna actually ask if big boys could get possessed. Yes, any enemies can get possessed. Even marauders? Even marauders. Oh, sweet Jesus. Thankfully, here in this level, there's no, like, fight that has both a spirit and a marauder, so you don't need to worry about that. That sounds like a yet thing. Does it? That's your problem. <laughs> Thank you, Unmaker. Seriously, the fuck Arch Files. Absolutely. No matter the game. You get back here, mister. Get back here and go to your room. I think these imps might be the last enemies. No. Join me in the Can't Twilight Realm. That hundreds of warriors have died trying to do this just to meet the father. Scans indicate, huh? Hundreds of warriors died to do this just to meet the father, and we're gonna fuck all of that up. Just gonna dance on that grave. All right. So we got one half of that coin. Now to go get the other half down the other path. The other half. Quote Daffy Duck. <laughs> Despicable demons. Yeah, re replace Doom Slayer with Daffy Duck. What <laughs> what changes about this game? <laughs> <laughs> That's hard to do at the same time. I'm the player. Seraphim, my ass. <laughs> God, all I can think of is when they did that one cartoon uh, several years yeah. back. Duck Dodgers? 
No, no, the one where Daffy uh, and Bugs were living together. Oh, it was just sort of no. this like sort of sitcom type deal. Right, the Looney Tunes show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was there were a bunch of bits they did, and one of them was just of Daffy being a powerful fucking wizard. <laughs> It was like ridiculously animated too and everything, it was beautiful. Do not give that duck such power. Luckily it was just a dream. I'll need to dredge that up. Oh. Buff Toady. Man, look at all these buff boys. So this one's interesting. The buff totem is in there. Everything out here is just a distraction. Because once you get in here, we see something we have not seen before. A buffed marauder. Oh, Jesus, he's so fast. I'm hunky. Oh, no, he's absolutely shredded. Not shredded enough. My sexy muscles. Little hitch. Never mind. Man, they were really proud of their platforming in this. Oh, another possessed Hell Knight. <laughs> I, lo I love how he ran at that angle. Like, you couldn't see him over the horizon. Just need some climactic trumpets to go along with it. Oh, I'm low on ammo. Oh no. Oh, this is this is bad. So that's the exa that's an example of the spirit possessing the next monster closest to it. Look at him waddle. Luckily, he was almost dead. Yeah, I already softened him up. Now we can Buster. Bam. I live. Shit, I'm a zombie. Also, if you're curious if a spirit is the last remaining enemy and there's nothing around to possess, it'll just go away. Imagine being possessed by a ghost, but they're better at being you than you are at being you. Because <laughs> that's basically what this is. Yeah. And that's just anxiety. <laughs> All these poor demons have really bad anxiety. None of them have confidence. I mean, because this happens to them constantly, but you know, still sad. I would also be anxious with Doom Guy around if I was a demon. Like the threat of like true death is very real. Just stay home. He won't bother you. I stay home with my wife and my kids, and my nine to five job, and maybe I should see Doom Guy. And my giant tentacle gone already. That's just there for fun. <laughs> Every time I see the shield on um, the, the Doom Hunter, part of me panics a little bit. Because you think he's possessed? Yes. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate that the, co the coloring is so similar. But no, the game does not give you a pre-possessed Doom Hunter. Yeah, that would be absolutely fucking lootly rancid. There are places where, if you let it, it will possess one, though. So, just be careful when one's around. Just don't.
I do enjoy like the casual murder sometimes. <laughs> do do do. It's a weird thing to say on the 14th part of this LP. <laughs> I mean, it's true though. I I enjoy it. I mean, I agree with you, but that's just kind of the premise. <laughs> you know what I mean, though? Like, when you're just walking around and you see some random fucker and you- ooh. That just maxes out your armor. It's... weird. It's still good. Yeah, it's good. Pretty sure I had 147 out of 150 armor at the time, but... That's three free armor. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a net gain. It's a non-zero number. Brain think how do me swing me punch wall I saw on the map there is a collectible up there I'm just gonna look good to it I'm not there yet mm, brain think but body not know brain think but Jacob not <laughs> So this is one place that was tweaked a little bit in the most recent patch, I, I do know. In addition to the low visibility, there is also tentacles under the water. They got rid of them. Sure. That sounds incredibly tedious. It is, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I, I probably prefer it this way, but I'm like... And it was already the way it was. <laughs> I already beat it that like that, so I mean... There are worse things to have more of in here, I guess. Like that. Yeah, it's the issue for me at least is just not being able to see shit and then getting flacked by a tentacle. Yeah, I think most of the tentacles were on the path to this little arena, not so much in the arena itself, but I think there may have been some in the arena too. I thought it was a zombie saying that for a sec. Critical damage indeed. Critical damage! Thanks. Huh? Psych. <laughs> Loser. Alright, there's the second gore nest of the level. But just how do we get to it? We'll find out in a few minutes. You go up. You go up. Push a block in the block zone there. I just realized why the UI confuses me. In games, isn't usually the armor blue? Hmm. Eh, depends on the game. In Halo, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think about the games that have armor. I think like the 007 games. But. So maybe I'm just used to seeing armor as blue, but in this it's the health, right? Yeah, the health is blue, the armor is green. To be fair, health is usually green or red, so... That I can understand. And then the rad suit is just a different green, which, that confuses me, personally. Yeah, it keeps fucking me up, I keep thinking it's your armor. Woo -woo -woo. Ah, yes, the Gate Guardian, the Guardian of the Gate. Fuck off, huh? <laughs> Doom Guard does. I ain't, gonna, I ain't even gonna pretend he corpus before me, he just doesn't. They really love Possessed Hell Knights, don't they? Yeah, I'm pretty sure some of these were Possessed Barons before the patch, which is why it's feeling kind of repetitive. Yeah. They did. They really did a, a fair amount of tweaking to the Ancient Gods Part 1 when they released Part 2. 
I really, I mean, I guess it's better for those who may not be willing to put in the time to get awesome at the game. But at the same time, it's like, apparently the goal was not to make the Ancient Gods Part 1 so hard. And if that wasn't your goal, then I mean, fair enough. But you failed if that, if that if your goal was to make it a modest difficulty. Because it was very hard before, and it's still pretty damn hard. Yeah. I do think, at least here, a uh, Baron that's possessed would be more interesting. Yeah, I was going to say, by this point in the DLC, you could amp it up to a Baron. Yeah. It feels like they're throwing just like a shitload of low-end enemies at you. With the update... It is, I can't, again, I can't point out every singular thing that was changed, but it did feel noticeably easier this time through. It's also weird because it, it, part one's encounters seemed more difficult than this one's. Like the first level we did. Right. The thing is, the fights at the end of each route are, are like, legitimately super tough. Like, even still, they're very difficult. I, that's so, like, everything's building up to that. And I will say, the next level is probably the hardest commercial Doom level I've ever played. So it will ramp up next time as well. Part 1 has a very good progression of difficulty. The first level's pretty, you know, excuse that. The first level is, like, a decent difficulty. This level's pretty tough. The next level's really fucking hard. Wetland warrior. I'm moist. <laughs> I'm more slimy, because that skin changes Doomguy's skin, like, his exposed biceps to be, like, this green splotchy shit. It looks very nasty. I'm diseased. <laughs> now I need to ask a valid question. What? Which is worse, this or Plutonia? Uh, I mean, I haven't actually played all the way through Plutonia before. Then don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Plutonia looks less fun. This DLC is still very fun. It's much less fun. I just wasn't sure if you'd played it. No, I, I mean, I've played a bit. I tried playing it on Switch, and I, I can't imagine beating Plutonia on a controller. <laughs> on Joy-Cons. Ugh. Actually, Doom, Doom plays fine on Joy-Cons. Classic Doom, anyway. Because, I mean, you only turn in two directions. I don't think I've ever said this, but I do think that the Doom games, the modern ones, work surprisingly well on controllers. Especially Doom... <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, especially, like, Doom Eternal, since there are so many mechanics, having the buttons closer to your thumbs uh, kind of helps with making your movements more focused. But having the decreased aiming, d it does hinder it a lot. I noticed that while playing Doom Eternal on Switch. I originally played through this game on PS4, but then I got used to playing it on PC so much that I, I, d I guess I just lost all of my, like, composure playing it with a controller. Joy-Cons aside. Honestly, I used to play uh, FPSs a bunch on controllers, but then when I uh, had like built my own PC, I just played all of them on PC, and now I cannot go back to aiming on a controller. It feels so bad to me. It does feel worse. I've gotten so much used, more used to keyboard and mouse. A Wiimote Nunchuck? That's a different story. Damn. Yeah, that's terrible. What? No. I love I love playing shooters with a Wiimote. I just beat Metroid Prime today. I mean that it's very easy to use a Wiimote with Metroid Prime because of the lock on, yeah. but even like regular shooters, it's very fun. I like aiming. Well, yeah, you have a lot of fine control and I, I, I get that. I mean I also think the gyroscope is very good for like switch stuff. Yeah, I've gotten used to that. Pikmin 3 Deluxe was kind of my entryway to using gyro controls and now I've been playing like Borderlands and Doom Eternal with it and it's very nice. It gives you so much more control than just using the sticks because the sticks don't feel great. Still can't do Splatoon with it though. The Splatoon takes some getting used to. Alright. 
Here's our final arena. Hmm. I don't know which final arena is harder. They're pretty easy. I mean... <laughs> no, they're not. They're pretty even is the word I wanted to say. They're pretty easy. Anyone who has trouble with it's a fucking show. They're not. I, I still have trouble with these fights. These are not easy at all. I don't know. Starting with a buff totem seems pretty easy to me. Now it's easy. He effectively landed on your chainsaw. He didn't want to be here. He just wanted to get it over with before he's sent back in. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I... Good use. I remember finding the soul sphere, thinking, hmm, I better save that. I'm pretty high on health. And then I grabbed it by mistake. <laughs> yeah, congrats on your 17 armor. Did he just, like... <laughs> no, I, I thought he shifted to the side, but no, you got his buddy next to him. <laughs> While we fight, I've, I've noticed in the... I've been reading the comments. It's unfortunate that it seems this LP had the opposite effect that I was hoping, and that I've, I've we've gotten a few comments from people saying, yeah, thanks, I'll pass on this game. <laughs> <laughs> Sekiro, this has not turned out to be. Yeah, it's a shame, but I totally get it. There, This game is a lot, and it's very fast-paced and hectic and has a lot of things you gotta juggle, so I can't blame you. But please play Doom 2016. At the very least, play that one. You'll love it, I promise. I also will say, for all my complaints, this game feels a lot better in motion than it looks. It does. It, it's hard to watch, but once you get the motions of the ocean down then it, it is so satisfying and fun. Well, it, it feels really good to play, and that actually makes a world of difference. And it's hard to convey that. Yeah, everything just kind of flows. Like, you look at it, and it seems like a lot of mechanics, but once you get enough practice and it just comes naturally. Like, when you'll, when you'll want to, like, flame belch, when you'll want to use your grenades, switch weapons, chainsaw, all of that. You'll just think about it. It'll become second nature. Well, I guess that means you wouldn't think about it, but you, you get it. You get the idea. <laughs> Haven't used this in a while. Ow. I don't know what hit me, but it really hit me. I think it might have been that Baron. I think it was your place in the universe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this Doom guy, this is not the time to get existential. Look, Doom guy has his objectives and that's all he needs. He knows his place in the universe. Whether he likes it or not. I don't know, I feel like to some degree he revels in all this demon murder. I mean, it looks fun. <laughs> And it, it, I mean, I'm playing it, it is fun. I mean, I'm not experiencing the pain. But... Oh, there's a Possessed Baron. Finally. Uh, gross. Yep, it's very chunky. No, so am I! Earlier, you killed a Revenant, and it just died and crunched into a ball. It was just a meatball. <laughs> a bone ball. That's a spicy meatball. That's a bony meatball. It gives a texture. Can I have, please have a sp uh, boneless spaghetti and meatballs? Uh, they don't come with bones. Oh, good. You get your bones and you'll fucking like it. It's still alive. Okay, there we go. Yep. Possessed barons are nothing to fuck around with. Get that fucking baron away. Thankfully, when you kill anything with a microwave beam, including the spirit, 
it explodes and does a fair bit of damage to everything around it, so that's helpful. I could just, like, feel the panic, though, of, like, please don't possess the Baron, please don't mm -hmm. possess the Baron. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't want it! <laughs> please, no! <laughs> Time to destroy the Father's life sphere. Had to breathe. That was... Like, these fights take a lot out of you. They seem incredibly tense. Time to turn off Dad's iron lung. Just this would complete the shield. All right, so we've completed the shield. Now the block comes to life. The block. <laughs> Fuck. This is the trial of Malagog. This is real goofy. Yeah, uh, this is actually a... It's... Eh, I'd say a medium difficulty boss. Pretty tough for your first time. Not so bad overall. When it opens up, you just gotta shoot it in the eye. And one thing I forget... Actually, wait, I'll, I'll save that until it happens. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, not only do you cut its legs off, you just kick it. a cube if it can split into numerous non-cubes? Yes. Yes. Shapes can be made of other shapes. Ah. So this is where I mess up. There's one more step. You also have to punch the block into the shield once it lands on the ground. I went through like four cycles of, of fighting <laughs> this thing before I realized that. Because if you don't punch it, it'll just like, go back up in the air and the whole cycle start over again. I spent too much time doing that. Now, to be fair, that's not super obvious. I mean, it is if you're on the right side of the block because it has that punchy mark that any punchy things have. But I, I was not on the right side of the block. I love the clipping of the armor collecting sound playing a billion times at once. Just gonna ignore the block. Yeah, this I, I do it again, but this time I just got distracted. Damn it! Just like so intent on clearing all the enemies that you just don't even notice. Yeah, I think that punching it will destroy any alive enemies. I may be wrong on that. I'll I'll pay attention. There we go. Pionch. I mean, Pionch. Yeah, it does. Yes. <laughs> the Hell Knight just tripped. He wasn't ready. Stumbled, hit his head, broke his neck. Now there's two of them. Oh. Finally, a pair of eyes. In case it wasn't obvious, the Ballista is definitely the weapon of choice for this fight since it's so accurate and does so much damage. It's just too, it's just really slow, unfortunately. I don't know, this boss doesn't seem terribly interesting. Uh, eh, no, because you spend most of the time just fighting other things. So much of it's just like management. I mean, you're always doing stuff. It's definitely, again, more fun to play than it is to watch. All right, so that takes care of that. Uh, we did miss a codex, though, so we need to go get it. Oh, my God. It's okay. I'll find it. I don't believe you. I refuse to believe you, I say, looking at the length of the video. <laughs> Oh, 
wave is it? First, I'm going to grab that BFG ammo. Since it is very rare in this game. Yeah, they do kind of stiff you a bit on super ammo, but I can understand why. Yeah, if you gave, if you got too many, then then you just like you could breeze through everything. It's through here. I spent a lot of time looking for this. I spent a ton of time on this level because of the glitch and because of this secret. So this video cut out a good like 30 minutes of time. Oh, and I'm so frustrated right now because of all the time I spent. I would have been so mad if I lost my last life in a secret area. With a mancubus. I did it. Yeah, well, time to uh, crush the whatever the fuck. The life orb or I don't know. Yeah, basically. The daddy sphere. The daddy sphere? Don't wake, daddy. Who disturbs my slumber? No, no, we're definitely waking daddy. Hello, small one. Ooh, big hand. Oh, it's got four fingers like a cartoon. Here you go. This is not the father, but he's a friendly boy. Father's up here. The son. Hey, they've kind of shown time and time again that these big boys just exist to do menial labor. To hang? Sammy boy, you're not very convincing. We're also decidedly not hurrying. It's fine, he can't see our objectives. Only that one dude. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't tell him. Do it. <laughs> Come on. Exposed biceps are really good on that outfit. Because, like, nothing else. Yes. Oh, man. Do this for me. This is the most I've liked Doom Guy this entire game. It's like, man, why the fuck would I save Erdak? This. this is the Dark Lord's life sphere. He'll take physical form if you do this. Cool. <laughs> Sounds sweet. <laughs> if he takes physical form, you can shoot him. It's very simple. Oh, shit. So bye bye God. Uh, God's the, the, the father's life sphere uh, has been destroyed. He can no longer take physical form, and now we've taken the Dark Lord's life sphere. The Dark Lord is Satan, believe it or not. Well, he's not not literally, but it's the equivalent of Satan, the devil. So it appears that Doom Guy's plan is to give him physical form so that he can kill him once and for all. I guess. Maybe. Doom Guy ain't chatty, so. No. Yeah, 
Why would he save Erdak when they've continually fucked the humans? It's, it's it's an empty promise. And also, gets to kill Satan. That just sounds fun. So in order to properly give the Dark Lord a physical form, we're going to head back to Erdak. Now that we have completed the trials, now we have access to a place that will essentially let us do that. And next time, that is what we shall be doing. Going to heaven to summon a Satan for funsies. World star. 